The first thing you want to do is scrub the fish off. All the slime. You don't want to cut the meat and have the slime go in the meat. So what we're going to do is, this is a brand new sponge. We're just going to get all that slime off the fish. I don't want the slime to go in the meat, that's why, like I said. Both sides of it. Another thing I already did too was I already um, sharpened my knives. I sharpened my knives and I got uh, the cooler that I'm going to put the fish after I fillet it, ready to go. Packed with ice. So the whole fish got all that slime off. I like to scrub the fish time out and get the slime off before I throw it in my fish box. So I don't get slime everywhere. This is pretty good. So all the tools today, I'll put a link in the description where I get it from. It's all Amazon stuff. But I'll put a link in the description. I use these cut proof gloves because they'll stop you from getting bone pokes and everything else. Tools used. I got a, a Dexter knife. It's a S. Oh yeah. I'll put a link in the description. A Dexter knife. Another Dexter knife. A Dexter sharpening stick. And probably one of the most key important things right here. A block. Sanding block. So the knives already been sharpened. First thing I'm going to do is I'm take off the head. Come down. Right by the head. I missed that whole shot. I'm going to shoot down by the head, okay? See it? The bone right there. I want all the tricks of the bone, okay? I'm going to flip it now. I'm going to flip the fish over. Not a 44 bullet does to a fish's head. Yeah, we're going to cut down right here. Well, I'll meet the next cut. Let me tell you something though. See this? The part of the the collar, not the collar of the collar, but the part that goes underneath the chin, it already broke off, so it's gonna make it easier. If this was still connected, I would cut this off, okay? And I'll show you why in a minute. So the head, we're just gonna pull the head straight back. Okay? Actually forward. There we go. Head is off. There's a fish head. Normally, we'd see this and eat it on the grill, but, Shot the bullet through there. I don't want all that meat. Still a lot of meat in there, but I'm not gonna eat this one. The bullet hole makes me weary. Okay. So this one. There's a soft spot between this where I can get through. There we go. It's off, okay? Now I take these collars off. Come back about A4. I don't know what that means. Three inches back. I don't even know where my cut was now. There we go. And come down. When you come down, you can angle down, okay? Now you come over here, there's a knuckle inside there. And I go down deep enough to so go past the knuckle, okay? Come at the top. There we go. See that? There we go. This, excellent stuff for the grill. Put a little salt and pepper with this kind of grill. Oh, that's what food heaven tastes like, I'm telling you now. So nice cut. Take off the head now and take off the other side. Sorry, I'm I totally working against the off angle. I try to not to work at, so it might not be the best cuts. Okay. Same thing. Here's a perfect example. See a knuckle right there? Right there? Yeah, I get behind that guy. Totally awkward for me cutting it that way. We'll take it 
take all this stuff off afterwards and yeah, I'll clean up for the grill. I'm just showing you how fast. You don't want all that bloody gut stuff, okay? So we'll save those for later because that will be some excellent eats later on. We can take off this bottom corner. I'm going to take off the bottom corner first. What I normally do is I take off the the um, the belly first. But Josh went fishing yesterday. He's like, oh, I want to like how the Japan guys do it with the belly on. So I'll cut the first quarter with the belly on. I'll take it off for him. Uh, we'll go from there. To start, I'm going to make all my pre-cuts, okay? I'm going to cut off the tail. About the third one out from the tail, I'll cut down. And there's a bone in there. That's why there's a bone that comes up. So you're going to be above it. I'm going to cut this way. I'm going to angle down at the bone. I'll show you why in a minute, why this is part ski. Sorry, I'm trying to block the camera view and screen you up. Okay. I'm coming down at a real sharp angle on this guy. A, a really sharp angle on this guy, okay? Cut through once. Back here's cut array. Is I'm gonna cut this side too. Actually, I'm gonna spin it. It's too hard of an angle. my knife. Sorry, this is like a super off angle for me to work at. I'm trying to get the camera angle for you guys. We'll cut the tail again, right above. About the third spot down. Okay. Come now, bang the end right above there. Now I'm probably going to want to hire. Okay. So we did, we did our, our two tail cuts. We did two side cuts on the top and bottom, right? And this is just gonna save you a lot of time. Because I made the angle good, I'm gonna get this guy out of here. So we made the angle cut. Let's get this guy out of here. Do this way. This is the way I like to do it. So I took off this top fin part, okay? Still something there. I probably could have cut a deeper angle, but whatever. It's good enough. Okay, you don't have to take this part off like I did. I just did that way because. It makes it easier for me, pretty much. Oh yeah. The hardest cut to do is gonna be your first cut, always. There's a bone right here. See this bone right here? There's a bone right there, okay? You wanna stay on this side of the bone. It comes down where this lateral line is. You wanna stay on this side of the line, come down, it's gonna meet up like right there in that blood meat, okay? Right here. You can see there's a line on the fish pretty much. You wanna stand inside the line. Not a whole lot, but the trick is once you get your knife in there, okay? Good sharp knife, the bone's in there. Put your knife against the bone. You wanna ride that bone, okay? The first cut might not be the deepest, but I, I'd rather be on the bone than halfway, halfway over on the bone, okay? So. All the way down. I think I'm gonna cut the bone, which is fine. It just makes it a little bit hard to get a first cut out. If you want to see how this eye was caught, click up there. If you're watching this on Tuesday, it's not gonna be there. It won't be there till Friday. So all the way down, okay. Right down to the bone. You can hear it riding the bone railroad, okay? Now we take our next cut. We're gonna come right here and we're ride it up, okay? Okay. 
okay? While I'm doing this, I'm angling down now. There's a center bone on right that center bone, okay? Lift up the belly. One more time. Angle down. This is the hardest part right here because when you come up here, you're riding the bone blind and you want to split the rib bone down there. So it's by far the hardest part right here. Taking this first quarter out. Okay. Now, when I come through, there's a couple bones that I missed probably on the way down. When I cut through, I'm gonna lift up the filet. I'm gonna my knife in there. I'm gonna try angle it up just a little bit. I don't wanna cut the top filet. I just wanna cut those bones, which I did. Right there. Okay, I need my big knife now. Hold on a second. Okay, this is the rib bone I was talking about riding. Why well, the flay didn't come off easy. As you can see, I came on this side a little bit of the rib bone. So to clean it up, nobody wants all this blood meat, right? Come on, we're gonna hit these bones right here. It's blood meat. No knife. Let the knife do the work. If the knife isn't sharp, sharpen it. Your knife isn't sharp, sharpen it. I don't eat the blood meat. Probably one of the few things I don't eat off this fish. Now we have our rib meat. Our ribs. Cut that off. Come on right now. Let me get this bone out right there. Normally the rib is off ray, but for Josh, I'm cutting it this way. So I cut the other side. You'll see how much easier it is. So Josh wanted that real Japan look. So we'll give him this first cut. You want to look like you want to look like Japan? How do I do it with the stuff? So there you go. Normally I take all this crap off. Nice fillet. No, now I'll make it easy for us. Take this off. You fillet this off the skin, a little salt and pepper, deep fry it. Oh, so good, so good. So my goal is to make two to two and a half pound fillets. That's what I'm trying to do right here, two to two and a half pound fillets. Don't ever really waste this part ever. And scrape the bone. That's just straight meat. There's no string in there or anything. And if you notice too, my fish is like there's no blood in the fish, yeah? Pretty much. That's what you want for good quality fresh fish. I guess we'll do it at this angle. I don't even want to do it on this angle, but we'll do it on this angle. 
to his bone, okay? And cut on that bone at an angle, okay? You're gonna have to cut through these bones over here. I'm cutting through at a straight angle. Straight angle, okay? My knife is pretty much down to that angle. I'm cutting through this bone right here. I want to follow the angle all the way down, okay? But you don't follow the angle down, I'll make this part right there. The reason I'm following angle down is I don't want to cut into my filet. I want to cut the meat the whole way. Okay. We'll spin it. We'll spin it because we got it off right. Pretty much off. There we go. Okay. I think get a little bit of flare right here. Which that's not too bad, but I definitely don't like that kind of cuts. This is all good stuff right here. It's fresh off the fish. Don't waste that stuff. All good stuff. I'm just gonna this filet real fast. Normally you'd have this bone the whole way down, but since we cut the that first cut too deep, I have to already. Sharpen knives. Got sharpen knives. Okay. Normally I don't move the fish as much, but I'm trying to get the angles right, right? Comfortable cutting. So I'm gonna fish a lot more than I like to. So this first cut, this isn't the best cut of meat. We're gonna take this off. And that's what we save for ourselves. Oh my gosh, sharpen knives. Okay. This goes in my little pokey container. Same thing, I only get three pound cuts. This is the top quarter, so you're gonna get a lot more cuts out of this. And the reason I did this way, because normally you wouldn't be able to get this stuff. And that's my favorite. Okay. Ooh, don't knock over my camera. Almost out of my camera. I can't believe my camera was running for a whole part. You guys saw this GoPro, but that sucks. That's shitty footage. Cut it down this way, cut it down that way. I'm gonna cut this, the bone angle is in, so I have to cut it in at an angle, okay? Some cleaning up to do, or whatever. Lift this up. I can't see, I'm blind. There you go. There we go. Like I said, the reason I did it that way, I want to scrape that. That's the best part. So I'm going to trim this up now, okay? All this belly, all this be these rib bones. Okay, with this, I'm just riding this way. It's all bones in here. I'm 
Now let's get this off of here. So if you see right here, there's rib bones, okay? I'm on this, I'm on this side of the rib bones, but my knife is angling in right in those rib bones. You see angle on that knife? Okay. Okay. And that's that quarter. That quarter is perfect. Okay. Now Push this on the side. Push this on the side. Flip this quarter around so I can flay it off. Okay. Same thing. I'm gonna come from the back. I'm gonna ride. As you can see it, my knife is at that angle right here and riding these ribs. The rib bone comes all the way forward. And that is it. We have two beautiful quarters. Uh, there's this uh this short story if you have a minute okay if you have a minute there's this uh, sushi bar I go to in Honolulu and uh, I told the sushi chef I pretty much try to eat everything off the fish I don't waste anything I throw away the bones or pretty much always eat the head except for today because a bullet shot and I um I only throw away the guts the bones and the skin and he tells me the skin you throw away the skin I say yeah, I throw away the skin so he gave me this recipe in Japan this is what the sushi chefs all do with the tuna skin they don't ever waste the, the tuna skin and only the sushi chefs eat it they save it. So I never made it yet. I'm super excited to make it. I'm probably gonna make it for myself, but if you guys wanna see how I make the tuna skin, how I prepare it, the way he said, then uh, comment below, tuna skin video, or tuna skin so I know. If I see enough comments, I'll, I'll make the video, okay? So let me know. Thanks for watching, as always. And like I said, if you're watching this on Tuesday, the fish of this, the video of this fish being caught will be on Friday. I'll put the link there if you're watching after Tuesday. And if you hit the button right there, subscribe, and there should be a little bell. If you hit the bell, you'll be notified every time I got a video. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, tight line, safe fishing. Now let's get this fish bagged up. All right.